A lot of people in our state are angry about high electric bills, but there is a way you might be able to shrink your bills. Yes, yeah, significantly. Two thousands of families in this state make their own electricity from the sun. Solar energy isn't the right fit for everyone, but in a lot of cases, it can cut those electric bills in half. This is the, uh, the power panel. Tom so, Page of East Haven is one of the more than 75,000 homeowners in Connecticut who harvests electricity from the sun. I think a lot of people kind of don't really believe when I tell them that my bill is less than half of yours. Tom says he installed solar nine years ago. He says his electric bill has dropped on average about $200 a month. And it was sad when I saw all those people that you know had the four or $500 bills. Our highest bill, I think that month was 220. So how much money can you save with solar? The answer is not simple. Every house and every situation are different. You may not be a good candidate for solar if you have a lot of trees on your lot, the direction your roof faces is not optimal, if you don't use a lot of electricity, and if your roof is not in good shape, you may need a new one. This goes all the time. This is, it's about 100 degrees right now. For Tom, everything, just like his hot tub water, was just right. It's a perfect match because that's a southeast direction. So basically when the sun comes up and travels across in the summer, we get it for a good nine or 10 hours. Please don't just go with the person that comes up to your door and knocks on it and says, hey, do you want solar? Bill Colonis works for the Connecticut Green Bank. That's a state agency that helps guide people in our state to cleaner energy. He says going solar can be confusing. If you just sit down and Google solar in Connecticut, you'll get a whole bunch of responses, a lot of them from out-of-state companies, and a bunch of them say this, free solar panels in Connecticut. That is a lie. There is always been a monthly payment associated with that. There is no free solar. Um, I always feel so bad for people that, that really feel like that's true because sometimes you hear that term and you think it's very valid, but it's not. Those bogus free solar offers are really offers to let you lease solar panels instead of buying them. When you lease, you pay the panel owner like you would pay a utility. The upfront cost is less, but you never stop paying to rent those panels Often those contracts come with escalators too that over time push payments higher and things can get complicated if you sell the house. Tom leased his panels from a salesman who knocked on his door and it all worked out. But he says if he had to do it over again, he would buy instead of lease. Just don't listen to one company. If you do buy the panels, the initial cost can be big. The average install is more than $30,000. On average, those panels will pay for themselves in 8 to 12 years. There are some special low-interest loans you can get, and there are federal tax incentives that can help. Either way, most solar companies say you will save between 30 to 50 percent on every electric bill, and when those Eversource or UI bills go up, your deal with the sun stays the same. You're locking in yourself out of inflation, and that's one of the bigger benefits. To find out if solar makes sense for you, the best advice is to talk to more than one company so you can make the best decision. So I encourage homeowners to get three to even more proposals for their home, and they'll learn a lot about what different options there are out there. And there is some maintenance with solar panels, too. They do have to be cleaned every once in a while so all the sun gets into the panel. In the winter, the snow usually melts off those panels first. We have links and more information that can get you started on your solar journey at WTNH.com and the News 8 app.